Alright, so welcome back to another Dragon Fable video. Today, I'm going to be doing like a little build guide. Um, I was planning on doing these for a long time and I want to start them today. Uh, what I will say first, if there's any builds that you want me to showcase, maybe do a little guide video on them, I will happily um, do them as long as I have the class, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'll happily do them. Um, today, we are obviously looking at the Death Knight, right on the screen. Um, yeah, so yeah. Death Knight, um, probably my favourite class in the game. It looks by far the coolest in my opinion. And it's actually really good. It's probably one of the best like classes that are just not overpowered. If you know what I mean, like the Chaos Weaver or the like Ascendant. But it's probably one of the best classes in the game in my opinion. So to actually get this class, we're gonna, gonna go down to uh, the Necropolis here. This is in book one. So book one travel map. Um, go to Artics. Now, um, become a paladin. You can acquire, I think, don't quote me on this, I think I'm right. Um, when you finish this quest line, well, not not extra credits, that's an extra quest for Dragon Amulet users. Uh, the Noxus Hume, so I think when you finish that, you can unlock the paladin. And um, to fully upgrade the paladin, You've got to um, collect these things here, called like um, Undead Slayer Badges. Um, you need to, uh, I think it's about 14 to fully upgrade the class. And once you fully upgrade the class, you get it from the Save Moon Ridge quest and other quests as well, but that's the best way. Um, to actually, then you unlock the, um, you unlock the Necromancer. So when you unlock the Necromancer, you're going to want to fully upgrade that as well. Uh, I think it's the same items, like the Slayer Badges, uh, but Zorbak upgrades it um, to go visit him. And then once that's fully upgraded, you unlock the Death Knight. Now, the Death Knight, um, I think you use the same badges. I, I don't know. I think it is. I can't exactly remember. But, you know, it's quite straightforward. Um, but, yeah, that's how you unlock it. Now, for a quick little heads up about what stats I'm using... Um, I have 105 strength because this um, it's a warrior class I'm doing it on. It doesn't really matter what class you do it on, but you know it makes more sense if you use strength because it's like swords and stuff. Um, 55 endurance and 85 wisdom. Uh, there's not really much else I really need on this character, so um, you know quite simple but very effective. Um, you know these are my defenses and stuff, which is it's not terrible. It's okay. Um, 74 to 94 damage, element darkness, uh, crit 32, bonus 37, that's okay. And uh, we've got some really good resistances down here. Um, immobility 23, light and darkness 31. Pretty good. And we've got some, you know, a couple of good ones here. Um, uh, this is my character ID, if any of you want to use it. Um, that being said, um, I'm going to actually get into the gear I'm using. So, um... The gear, I'm using Zeklum's Blade. Now, I think I did pay dragon coins for this. Um, there are other weapons you can use that don't cost dragon coins. Um, Zeklum's Cloak. Um, you know, Cloak, simple. Zeklum's Ring, Zeklum's Band. Um, Zeklum's Helmet, uh, Zeklum's Heirloom, and Zeklum's Belt. Um, it, the trinket, trinket doesn't really matter, but you know, I'm going to use this because it... Fits my class a little bit more, I guess. Um, and I'm using the Death Arrows cat. Uh, now, all of this here, I'm going to show you how to get in a minute. Um, you don't really need this pet, but, you know, it's darkness, so I bought it. It's actually a really good pet. It says it's only 13 to 19, but this pet hits between 2 and 6 times. Um, yeah, 2 and 6 times, sorry. So, what, to get the Zeklum's gear, um, we're going to go to Death Knight. Uh, this is where we upgrade the class. Um, so when we become a Death Knight, we can train the armor, unlock the armor, wear it, give it back. Um, items. So we've got Death Knight item. These are like the basic stuff that we can get. These are all cost um, under Slay Badges. They're very cheap. It's only one. Uh, but yeah, this is level 40 gear, but it's pretty good and it's very easy to get. So um, we'll take a look at this. You know, cool sword, cool sword. Um... Cool helmet, we got the cape, very simple, um, you, know, you can't really see those. 
Uh, but yeah, these are level 40 gear and it's very easy to get. So um, I think this is, yeah, it's one badge. So all you have to do to get this entire set is to do six of the um, Moon Ridge quest lines, quests. And, um, you know, you can unlock this, but it is all 40. So um, anyway, uh, we get Zeklum's items. Now, all of this stuff is dragon coins, I believe. Um, yeah. Um, I have a shit turn on this character because I, I got I got the double XP, uh, which you get like twenty thousand coins. Um, so yeah, I do have a lot of stuff on here, but um, so I've got the level fifty stuff, which is here. Uh, really powerful gear. Um, three hundred and fifty dragon coins. It's quite expensive, but it's um, very good. And this helmet looks cool. And then these are basically the better versions of the Death Knight gear. Now, we can get all the way to level 80 items, which is pretty cool. Let's see the sword, actually. I've never seen this. The level 80 sword is 80 to 105 damage. That is pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to actually show you the skills now for the class. All right, so um, we're actually in the, the tough version of the, um, you know, the challenge. We press the button. Um, so... This ability, we can't use it right now, but I'll show you in a minute. So, shift presence between damage over time and heal over time. So, um, the neck, oh, you can't see it here. The, not Necromancer, the Death Knight. We can't see it here. But, over time, you do some slight damage to the enemy, so you just drain its health. Um, but you can switch it between the heal over time and the damage over time. Really cool ability, in my opinion. So, if you're low on health, you just switch it and you can do it. Yeah, <laughs> um, we saw health and strike. Uh, I'm not going to use this one right now because um, I've not lost any health. So let's just attack this guy. Uh, 120 damage is not terrible. Um, so the pet we've got, um, 19, 30. Um, it hits either twice, four times, or six times. Uh, so it's very useful. Uh, let's see this. So we got. It's a weak attack, but we get 121 more health. Uh, we've not seen the cat in its best action yet, but um, yeah. Um, so we've got a uh, soul slash. First attack that damages the first soul. Pretty powerful, not amazing, but in it works. Uh, soul slash, we get 25 to 33 damage for six turns. That's really cool. Um, oh, this is an necrotic presence, so 15 to 20 damage. It says two tens, but it's actually a limit. It keeps uh, resetting. Um, but yeah, uh, attack again. The, the pet's not really doing its job. <laughs> it keeps getting the lowest amount of hits, but um, yeah. Uh, strike all furs, multi attack. Pretty cool. It, this class may not look amazing right now, but um, we have a couple of abilities that give us like, these major buffs down here. But we haven't got to those yet. Gouty crit. Pretty good, especially when you um, like uh, stack all the buffs and stuff. Um, fear. Uh, it's a stun. Fear of death, there you go. Well, this guy's gonna die before we um, actually showcase all the stats. <laughs> um, overwhelming fear, 4 turns. So it's a 4 turn stun. Um, we got shield. Basic shield. Cool. Uh, we've already done the attack, so we don't need to do that again. We could your fur. This is where it gets really good. So we've got, um, oh, big hit of damage. Um, so we've got weaken the th minus 30 to all and minus 50 to crit. So it has a half chance less of critting us. And uh, we do 30% more damage to this uh, enemy now. So that's a really good ability. Um, we have, we'll actually finish this guy off and I'll uh, resume. Our right, sound back. Um, we have unholy will. Impo um, impose your will upon the fur. Pretty cool ability. Um, what it does is um, 
it does 86 to 115 damage for two turns. So we get some like random damage on the uh, enemy. That was four hits. Look, there you go. Really powerful. Um, steal life over four turns. Obviously a very good heal. So um, that does Darkrai 94 damage for five turns. And it heals us that much, I think. I don't know exactly. How much did we heal? Oh, we healed 100. So it actually heals us more. Um, repeat first power. Uh, that does 30% um, less damage. And yeah, minus 20% chance of hitting us. So that was really good. Um, you, can, you can proper weaken your enemy on this uh, class. Um, oh, the main reason why we actually got all this Death Knight stuff. You don't have to use it, but I highly recommend it. One, because it goes well with the class. But two... Uh, we have this ability. Every Death Knight item increases the damage of the attack. So it becomes a really powerful attack. Um, oh yeah, the Zeklum's gear does count as Death Knight stuff. So, um, yeah. Summon your minion. Pretty powerful attack. Um, it doesn't really do anything. But, um, you know, it's very useful, I guess. This video is going on for a long time, but um, hopefully it's um, of some sort of use. So yeah, let's see what this does. 350 fun, that is without any buffs. You see, yeah, that is really useful. And uh, what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to show you guys like um, a best rotation of skills. Well, something that I use personally. It may not be the, may not be the best, but it's uh, okay. Big hit there. That is about as good as our um, Death Knight stuff. Well, the um, the good as all the Death Knight gear attack. All right, so this these are the sort of like good rotation of skills that I personally use. So I um, I usually start a battle with um, Steel Life over four turns because who doesn't like um, getting free heals? <laughs> I guess. Alright, um, you pretty much will become unstoppable when you use that. Um, right, so I should get into it now. Weaken your fur. I should have really de-equipped the pet, but you know, sue me. <laughs> um, so we've done that. We can do reap your first power. And then, so we pretty much have two buff attacks, but um, they are really powerful buff attacks. I think we get about 60% more damage with those two. Uh, so what I usually do is do this. There you go. 423. And... Yeah, look at, look at our health. We're barely taking any damage. So good. And sorry for... Damn. <laughs> so yeah, a very solid class that we can get this guy down extremely fast. Not as good as I could Chaos Weaver, but you know, Chaos Weaver is like broken. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna leave this one here. I'm sorry if this video is a bit of a mess. Um, it's my first time doing something like this, but hopefully it's been very um, informative, I hope. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next like, Let's Play slash a build guide video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.